Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you a couple things. First of all, I'd like to kind of show you some more modification tools, and I'm going to show you how to put in tags on things. So modification tools, uh, the constraints and dimensions, they're a little tricky sometimes, but you can use them as your friends. They help you put your model together. So let me show you a couple things, how to use the align tool. Remember when you put dimensions on something or you're using temporary dimensions, uh, you're not necessarily always constrained by those things. When you're aligning something, you don't necessarily have to lock them into place. When you do lock them into place, then they become a little bit more permanent, harder to change. And sometimes those constraints are hard to realize what's there. And typically you get a message when you're trying to move something and there's constraints involved. They'll ask you if you want to delete those constraints. It doesn't necessarily show you what constraints you're going to be deleting, but you can always delete them and then add them back later if you have to. But uh, with or without constraints, you can use some of these tools in order to help you enhance your model. So one thing, uh, let's say if you're entering a, um, you know, putting in some furniture, for instance, we could use the align tool to align the furniture up to that wall, but not necessarily lock it into place. So let's do this. Let's take this desk down here, and let's go ahead and align that. If we go to the Modify tab, go to the Alignment tool, pick us our primary reference, our static reference, as I call it, that edge of that wall, and then we can pick the edge of the desk, and it puts it into place. Now, we can lock that if we desire, and, uh, and go from there. And then no matter what we do after that, if you do Escape button, if you try to move it, it's going to move along that wall, which is what you would anticipate it doing. It's not locked anywhere else, but we can take a dimension too, if we wanted to, go to the Annotate button, go to the Align dimension, maybe the edge of that desk, and maybe a point on that wall. If we can pick up that point, and maybe make that something specific. And so the way to get to that dimension and change it is you click on the desk, and we'll make that exactly one foot. So now that desk should be fully constrained. It's attached to the floor on one plane. It's attached to the back wall on the other plane. It's one foot from that point of that wall. And now if we try to move that desk, up, oh, it's allowing us to do it. But you know why? Because we didn't lock that. So if we make that again one foot, now let's do this. Let's take that dimension. It's really kind of silly to dimension it over there. Let's see if we can move that dimension tag and put it over here instead. There we go. Oop. Again, click on the desk. Make that two feet instead of one foot. And uh, let's find that lock symbol. Where are you? Come on. Where are you? Let's click on that dimension one more time. There it is. Now we can lock it. So now, if you try to move that desk, the wall may not be constrained, but the desk on that wall is constrained. So there we go. Move, remove constraints. We don't want to do that. So we're going to go to cancel and do that. So the, the desk is constrained to the wall in that respect. Let's do the chairs and show you a little, something a little bit different. Let's go to modify. The alignment tool. There's our uh, static reference. This is our movable reference. Whoops. It's not really what we wanted. We don't necessarily have to uh, lock that. But you'll notice if we move that chair out, let's say we want to have a distance of a couple inches away from that wall so that uh, the cleaning person can come in and clean it, we can do that and uh, provide that. So it's still aligned to that wall, but it isn't locked to that wall. We can move that out. Let's do this. Go to the alignment tool. Use this as our static reference. That is our movable reference. This is our static. That is our movable. None of them are, uh, are locked into place. So we can still conceivably take that chair and move it around as if it wasn't constrained at all. But one thing is certain. It is parallel to the back wall here, and it's parallel to that chair here too. So control Z gets us back to where we want it to go. Okay, that's a little bit more on constraints, a little bit more on uh, the alignment tool, locking things in place, not locking them, and the advantages of doing either or the other. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you in the next film.